We and the Cleveland Clinic are constructing a state of the future health education campus. Within this building, our students will learn using the most forward-looking educational programs. HoloLens is a key part of this. Now, last year, we showed a few things that we thought might be possible with HoloLens. Since October, we've had a small team of three computer programmers turning our ideas into reality. Today, we're going to show you some of our work on our holographic anatomy program, an example of the hours of curricular content that we have created. Now, anatomy is all about mastering the complex systems in the body. And you can see from the digestive system here that there are a lot of parts in a small space. And students need to understand not only how these parts fit together, but how they work together. Henry, can you tell us which organ in the body aids in digestion and also makes insulin? Yes, that would be the pancreas. It could be a little hard to see it behind the stomach here. Well, thankfully, with HoloLens, it's really easy to get the best view of things. Now, another area that's difficult for our students to fully grasp is the nervous system. HoloLens can make this much easier by improving our interactive learning beyond the single classroom. Professor Mark Griswold can teach us about the anatomy of the brain, even though he's in Cleveland. Let's show you how this works. Are you there, Mark? I am. Hi, Pam. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our new classroom. This is our new system that allows me to teach and interact with you, even though I'm not there at Build. I'll tell you, this feels really natural. The three of us can see each other as we're talking, which makes us feel connected. And even though you can only see my head and hands, you get a sense of my body language. This is really changing what it means to be in class. Mark, let's show them the white matter tracks. These tracks act like super highways, allowing messages to travel from one part of the brain to another. This example comes from an MRI scan of a real patient from the laboratory of Professor Cameron McIntyre at Case Western Reserve University. It's critical that our students know how these structures relate to one another. I can tell you I've looked at data sets like this for over 10 years, and I never fully understood their 3D structure until I saw them in HoloLens. Let's say we have a patient with a brain tumor, which we're showing here with this red area. Hey, Jeff and Henry, can you see how this tumor intersects the light blue tract, but not the green tract or the yellow one? This allows us to predict the impact of this tumor on the patient's symptoms and their outcomes after surgery. This could impact the occipital lobe back here which may harm the patient's vision. It might also influence the parietal lobe here, which would affect their sense of touch. The quicker our students learn facts like these, the more time they have to think with them. We are teaching them to think like a doctor. Thanks, Mark, for joining us today. Bye, everybody. Being untethered and able to walk around 3D holographic content gives our students a real advantage. Students have commented that a 15-minute session with HoloLens could have saved them dozens of hours in the cadaveric lab. When we have only four short years to train them, this is extremely valuable.